Hey everybody. Hey, welcome back to the homestead. Hey, today is a really nice day out. This is the warmest day we've had uh, all this year. This is getting close to 60 degrees today. And uh, actually that's because we got a warm front moving in. We got some rain coming in. So today we're gonna be working on the bottom of the barn today. We actually have, we have some structural issues down there in the bottom of the barn. So there's some posts that are rotted off and that's caused the, the floor above it to sag. So what we're gonna do today is try to get that floor jacked up, get it back level, try to replace the posts in the, in the lower level here and get all of our structural issues fixed. Uh, once we get that all fixed, that'll pretty much open it up for new construction. So we'll go ahead and be able to start building our chicken coop in there, start building our animal stalls and getting them straightened out uh, so that we can get livestock this spring. So let's go ahead and head into the barn. I'll show you what we're dealing with today. So as you walk into the barn here, you're going to see that there's a there's a header here holding up the floor on this side. It actually has metal posts that's holding that side up. And this side over here, there's another header. And it has these wooden posts that are sitting on this concrete block. So this very last post here is not touching no more it's rotted off and then there was another post back here that's missing it's completely gone so that far end is starting to sag so as i i don't know if you can tell uh but when you look down this this line here this little section here is starting to sag down from the rest of the floor joist so we'll need to prop that up so right here, you can see that this floor joy or this post is not even touching the blocks anymore. It's completely rotted off. You can see here the gap that's formed from it sagging down, and you can see they're not really aligned at the top no more. I mean, this is this is just starting to sag over time, and it's really just this laminated header that's trying to help hold this up right now. There's no support for about oh probably a good 20 feet. There's no support on this side over here. So what we're gonna do today is since this post isn't even touching, we'll go ahead and rip this post out. We're gonna knock all these blocks out and then we're gonna get a floor jack under here and probably jack up on like a two by six. We're gonna see if we can jack this up. It looks like I need to jack it up close to an inch or a half an inch and see if we can get this straightened out. Once we get that level, I do have some six by six posts uh, that are left over from building our house. We'll go ahead and put a post here. We'll put a post back here and then uh, we'll go ahead and continue down the wall and just start replacing all these posts and uh, we'll knock these concrete blocks out as we go along and get this whole side replaced uh, with new posts. So right here is where I just cut off that post and that post was completely rotten and you can see how it's been eaten with termites and that was a laminated post that had three boards and that center board actually went up through the middle and that's where these two joists are nailed to. They're both nailed to that center uh, post board and that's what's only holding this all together and you can see that this is completely uh, rotten with uh, termite damage and the termites got up here and here and they started eating into the actual floor joist itself as well. So this is not in very good shape and that's the only thing that these joists are nailed to. That's the only thing holding them together. So of course I'm gonna put a new uh, post here and help hold this together. But since that center board isn't really doing much good anymore, once I level this out, I'll go ahead and um, I'll probably just scab a new board on this side and scab a new board on the far side and nail this all back together, something to connect uh, the left side with the right side. Hopefully that'll, that'll help once we get this jacked up. So I know that somebody's gonna say something about why don't you use a wheelbarrow. My wheelbarrow has flat tires and it won't hold air, so I need to get that fixed. The wheelbarrow has flat tires, but I'll go ahead and give it a shot anyway.
wheels. So we've got this first post here installed in the barn. I'm pretty glad that I got all this extra scrap lumber. So I had a scrap piece of two by 12 and uh, I was able to nail that across both the left and the right side of this header here. And then we also knew where this post was gonna sit. It was kind of rotted out with some termite damage. So instead of that uh, post sitting on those rotted out sections of those boards and that header, put a two by eight here on the bottom. So we got a two by eight nailed here on the bottom and that's gonna help distribute the left and the right side of this beam uh, the weight of those down on that post and help that post hold up both sides a little bit better. So hopefully I won't have to go through this much kind of effort on the next of these posts because I don't think they're rotted like that one was. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and continue out knocking out blocks, taking out posts and keep putting new posts in and we want to re-support uh, this whole header along here all the way the length of this barn and uh, hopefully get that all secure and, and structurally sound and then we can go ahead and you know we'll be ready to continue on down here in the bottom of the barn so when i put these posts back some of these are these back here were spaced closer together than these i think this is about an eight foot spacing down here i'll probably keep this spacing here and then i'll end up with one less post in this area over there but i've actually i only have four posts to be able to put in today so um and i'll have to lamb i'll have to nail some together i think to make a fourth fifth post Well, it ended up taking all day the other day to get all these posts installed. And uh, so I ran out of light to finish the video. All my work lights went dead. So I came back this morning. I thought I'd show you exactly uh, what we ended up getting done. So we've got five posts installed here in the lower level now, and they're all supporting this header here. So now this header is, uh, has been kind of leveled up and properly supported. So I think everything's kind of fixed. Uh, these are some six by six treated posts that we had left over from our home build. I only had four of those. So this last one here, this here is just three two by sixes nailed together to make this post. But all this wood is treated lumber, so every bit of this is treated. Uh, I'm doing that because anything that comes in contact with the concrete, there can be moisture in the concrete. We'll be spraying the floor off and cleaning the floor. So anything that comes in contact with the concrete, I'm going to try to use a treated lumber in that section just to prevent it from being able to rot. So on this left side of the barn, though, I think what I'm going to do to lay it out is this this first 14 feet to that post there, I'm going to make a chicken coop. So this ends up being, on this side of the barn, I think it's a little bit wider. And this is 10 feet by 14, so I'll have a 10 by 14 
uh, chicken coop in that area. And then this next seven feet here between these two posts, I'm thinking about doing some kind of uh, maybe a brooder area, maybe a couple different brooder areas in that uh, seven by 10 area uh, to be able to raise baby chicks or chickens, or just, you know, it could be just a caged in area, maybe to just separate a se uh, some chickens if they need separated. I think that's what I'm gonna do in that area there. So these next two areas, these will these could be uh, more animal stalls if I needed them to be animal stalls. I'll just have to wait. Uh, we'll just leave that blank for now, but this could be future animal stalls. And then on this side over here, this has got access to the side door here. Um, this is where I'm gonna probably put the rabbits. So we'll probably put the rabbit hutches along in here and keep our rabbits in this corner of the barn. So if I turn around this side of the barn here, uh, it was previously they had the shelf here, they had trash cans and stuff here. So we'll probably use this for storage. Uh, we'll probably keep our animal supplies here and keep all of our feed for the animals in this corner over here. So I'm feeling pretty good now about the barn. So I think we've got we've got this header fixed. I think it's supported properly now. And uh, so I think the structure of the barn is good to go. So I think this barn will last quite a few more years, at least this lower level, the structure of this lower level is good. Uh, I, there's probably still some structural problems on the upper part. I know there's some posts, at least one post up there that I need to replace. And I think there's some uh, other things that will need fixed on the upper part of the barn. But I think this lower part's good to go. I think the floor is properly supported. So next on our list is going to be right over here. There's like a double stall right there. We're going to turn that into like a goat stall. So we're going to kind of tear this apart and redo that stall area for goats. And then over here, we're going to have the chicken coop. Then we'll build a chicken coop in here next. So that'll be probably the next two things that we work on down here in the lower level of the basement. So uh, a lower level of the barn. I want to call it a basement. Anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.